the word taqiyya or tuqiyya or taqiyya it comes from the from the word taqwa actually it's fear worry about something protection from and it's used in the quran as an example of that you should not hide your faith you should be proud of your faith unless there's fear on your life for it so you at that time muslims the early muslims during the time of the prophet because they they were enduring a lot of uh, torture and a lot of mistreatment from the people of Quraysh, you know, the tribe that ruled Mecca at that time. Uh, so they were allowed, the early Muslims, they were allowed to hide their faith if that resulted, if showing your faith, especially if you belong to a poor tribe, if you, you know, your social class or social status is not on the high level in, in, in that city, uh, unfortunately you'll be mistreated, you'll be killed. So Islam allowed in the early days for people to hide, and actually as a rule that continues, to hide their faith if their life is threatened when you announce it. You know, if you live in, in, in uh, the Soviet Union, maybe under Stalin or under in China where people are forbidden to declare their faith, it makes no sense to declare it. You can live it, uh, keep it hidden. It was never meant to de defeat people, uh, to, to, to deceive people, to cheat people in their behavior. It was meant to keep your faith hidden. So for people to take that historical concept, which was, by the way, practiced by early Christians too, early Christians practiced too, because the Romans were hunting them down, lynching them, killing them, putting them to, to, to be killed in, in the fields with the, with the lions. So they were given the orders by the Christian rulers at that time to practice taqiyya. Jews practiced taqiyya uh, in, in, in Andalusia after Spain fell to the, uh, the, the Spaniards. Muslims and Jews hid their faith because also the, the new rulers of Spain were tracking down Muslims and Jews and, and persecuting them. So it is not a, an unusual concept during times of hardships uh, uh, to save one's life. It's, it's, it's something permitted by all religions. Now, what happened is right-wing anti-Muslim bigots and bigoted groups, are, are what they're doing is they're manipulating such concept and trying to portray it as if Muslims are required or allowed to lie or deceive people about everything else. And this is totally contradictory to Islamic teaching. A Muslim cannot be, as the Prophet said, peace be upon him, he said, a Muslim cannot be a believer and a person who lies at the same time. 